Welcome to the second and final video in Lesson 2-2. In Video 1, we went over the basics of graphing systems of inequalities. In Video 2, we are going to look at word problems that have to do with system of inequalities. So, system of inequalities can be used to help us see certain restrictions in various scenarios. In Example 1, we are asked to write and graph a system of inequalities to model the situation. Let's go ahead and read the problem. Ted wants to throw a birthday party at Yona Bowl. We know that Yona Bowl charges $10 a person to bowl and $15 a person to skate. Ted wants to spend no more than $180 for his party, and his guests can choose to either bowl or skate. Ted wants to invite at least 10 friends. We want to write an inequality that models this situation and display it on the graph below, and we want to give two possible combinations of guests that Ted can have. So the first thing I want to do in this problem is highlight my important information. We know that it's $10 a person to bowl and $15 a person to skate. Ted has no more than $180, and he wants to invite at least 10 friends. So anytime we're dealing with word problems, especially when we start getting into systems, we're going to want to make sure that we define our variables. So just off to the side, I know I'm going to know that I'm going to have two variables, an X and a Y. What I have to do is going to go ahead and figure out what each of these are going to represent. So from reading the problem, I can tell that the two things that I'm not going to know right off the bat are the number of people that are bowling and the number of people that are skating. So I'm going to just let x be the number of bowlers and I'll use that throughout my problem and I'm going to let y be my number of skaters. So the next thing we need to do is start putting together an inequality. Now the first one I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on the money aspect of this. We know that it costs ten dollars to bowl but we don't know how many people bowling that we're going to have. So we said earlier we we're going to let x be the number of bowlers, so I'm going to write 10x. We're also going to have to spend $15 for everybody that is skating. We went ahead and said at the beginning that y was going to be our number of skaters, and we want to spend no more than $180. So we know that it's going to be 180 over here, what we have to figure out is the inequality that is going to go in here. Now if we think about what no more than 180 represents, that means that $180 is the very most we can spend. We can spend that much or lower, but we can't spend above, so that's going to be less than or equal to. Now before I can graph this, I have to put in y-intercept form, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. I'm going to have 15y is less than or equal to negative 10x plus 180. I'm going to need to divide both sides by 15. And I'm going to get that y is less than or equal to negative 10 over 15 reduces to negative 2 thirds x and 180 divided by 15 is going to be 12. So I'm going to graph this line. I have a y-intercept of 12 and a slope of negative 2 thirds. I'm going down 2 and right 3, down 2 and write 3. I need to look at what kind of line this is going to be. It, it has a less than or equal to symbol, so it does have that line underneath it, so it is going to be a solid line. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the dots using a solid line. And then I need to look at where I'm shading. If I look at my shading, this is less than or equal to, so I'm going to need to shade below. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with the yellow highlighter here. All right. Now, the second inequality is going to be a little bit trickier. We've used up pretty much all of the numbers that we've been given in this problem. We used up the $10, we used up the $15, and we used up the 180 The only information that we're left that we haven't used yet is that we want at least 10 friends. Now, if you're thinking about what at least means, that means we want 10 or more, so it's going to be greater than or equal to. What we have to figure out is what's going to be on this other side since they didn't give us any other numbers here. And this is going to be a problem that we're going to run into quite a bit when we're dealing with systems in this unit. Now, they did not tell us any other numbers, but we have to think back about what this represents. He wants to invite at least 10 friends. We said that every friend was either going to bowl or skate. So if we take the number of people bowling and we add the number of people skating together, 
we should end up with the total amount of people if we're going to assume that everybody at the party is either going to bowl or skate. So we don't have numbers to represent this, but we did use some variables at the beginning. We said that x was going to be our number of bowlers and y was going to be our number of skaters. So if we add the x plus the y together, that's going to give us the total amount of people. So this is going to be our second inequality. We need to get the y by itself before we can graph it. So we're going to have y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 10. Our y-intercept is 10, and our slope is negative 1 over 1. So we're going to go down 1 and right 1. We have the line underneath here for the greater than or equal to. So it is going to be another solid line. So we will go ahead and connect that. And then the final part is our shading. We want the greater than or equal to. So I am going to shade above this time. And you can see our area where they overlap is going to turn green since I'm using the highlighter tool. And again, I encourage you guys use colored pencils. Use two different colors so it's a little bit easier to see than just using a pencil. So we have to shade everything up here in our second color. And anywhere that it overlaps and turns green are going to be possible solutions. So we were asked to give two possible combinations of people that Ted could invite. So I am going to see what two ordered pairs might fall within the green here. So let's just pick this point right here. That's definitely in the green. That has an x value of 10, so that means we would have 10 bowlers. And it has a y value of 3, so it would be 3 skaters. So that's one possible combination. Let's look at this one up here that's in the green. That would be 3 bowlers, since our x value is 3. And it would be 9 skaters. Now these are just two possible combinations. Remember, anything within this green would actually work. All right, so we've gone through a problem together. You guys have seen how this goes now. You guys give it the you try problem with Marshall. When you're done with that, make sure you check your you try problem, complete your assigned practice, check your answers, ask questions when needed, and then when you're ready for a master check, just let us know. All right, see you guys in the next video.